Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com and today we're going to talk about the difference between how a narcissist lies, not lies, sorry, the difference between how a narcissist apologizes versus how a normal healthy person apologizes. All right, let's get right into it. It's going to be a short video, but first before I start that, I want to thank a couple subscribers. Um, number one, what I want to say is I am, what's the word for it? I'm, I'm grateful, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. My subscriber numbers are just taking off, and I'm like, finally, it's fucking moving. Like, it has taken a long, long time. I woke up this morning to 996. I'm almost at the 1,000 mark. That is my ultimate goal is to get to 1,000. And between a little over 24 hours ago, I actually sent a, an image of it to my friend. I got over seven uh, subscribers in just over 24 hours so I'm kind of shocked at because it used to be literally I could go a month and not get one subscriber. I'm not kidding. And then it would be like one a month if that. And then and it was like that for years. I mean, fucking years. <laughs> so now all of a sudden I'm getting then then my number one goal is like if I could just get one subscriber a day. Like even that was like a that was a mountainous. That was a goal that I had last year in July. That was like God if I could just do that just one a day. Or even 28 in a month. So maybe not every day, but almost every day. I've gone past that. I'm getting anywhere from one up to seven subscribers a day. Normally, I think right now, the way it's been <clears throat> for a couple weeks to a month, it's about three to four a day. So I want to say thank you. And I want to um, just give a shout out to a couple people. Again, it's not going to be everyone. So sorry about that. Number one, I want to say thank you to Cranky Manx. they got a cat there. Probably a Manx cat. I want to say thank you to Liberty Talk uh, without Odessa. Number three, let's thank. I want to thank Empress Sam X Sarah for subscribing. I want to thank. The, I'm sorry about this, Garav Pawar. I want to thank you for subscribing. I also want to thank. This one is hard. Arski Elus Three, probably Illusion Three is what that stands for. And I want to thank Chronically Less. You know, I made a comment on a couple of my videos. I want to say thank you for subscribing also. And pretty much that's it. Let me All right. So here's the – here's – how should I start this? Now, a long time ago, we learned like – I forget what it was called, but I think I learned it in NLP, but I also read it in another book. But when you do something wrong, you should apologize. But uh, that's not really an apology because the narcissist does that all the time. Anyone can say, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and then not – not mean it, and then just continue to do it, which is a very narcissistic thing. And they do it in a real tricky way, so watch this. So the way you should do it, and I might be missing a step, but it was like a four or five step thing, so I wrote five steps down here. Number one, admit what you did was wrong. You've gotta be like, dude, I, I'm so sorry, what I did was wrong, I shouldn't have done it, blah, 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 right? And then number two is, it'll never happen. So I guess technically number one is I'm I'm sorry I apologize. Number two is it'll never uh, I apologize. This is what I did. So number one apologize. Number two admit to what you did wrong. Number three, uh, it'll never happen again. You need to tell them like it will never happen again. I will never do that again. Okay. Then number four is you got to make it right. You've got to do something to be like I'm going to make this up to you. Because otherwise, it's like they, they use like a bank account, like, you know, you're in the red. And I, and I learned this a long time ago uh, from Tony Robbins and a bunch of books. A lot of people were saying it's like, it's like a bank account. If people keep taking and take, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean they keep taking, but then they don't fill it back up. Now they're in the red. And I, I used to say this to my ex girlfriend because she was a narcissist and it was useless even trying to say this to her. Um, and I'm not telling you to say this to, to a narcissist because they're going to, they're, they're going to, oh, okay, I'm sure. And they're, it's going to go, it's going to get flushed right up down the toilet in the garbage, man. So number one, apologize. Number two, admit what you did was wrong. And bring it up. Say, when I did this and this and this and this, this was wrong. You're right. I did do this and this and this, and I never should have done it. Um, number three is, it'll never happen again. I will never do that again. All right. Number four, you've got to make it right. Okay. So you've got to do something to fill up that bank account. You've got to use something that's meaningful, that's worthwhile, something that shows them like I'm fucking serious here. 
I'm not just, you know, these aren't just empty words and I'm going to do this action. I'm going to make that phone call for you. I'm going to mow your lawn. I'm going to buy you dinner. I'm going to do something that somehow, maybe something like, I don't know, maybe they stole something from you and they give it back plus they give you interest. I mean, I don't know. If someone steals from you, you probably shouldn't be around them. Um, excuse me. And then, okay, here's the, the last step. Never do it again. Never do it again. Now watch this. Here's how a narcissist does it. Um, they'll, they'll, oh, narcissist saying, I apologize, apologize. I used to actually know someone who used to say, apologize, apologize. They wouldn't even say, I apologize or I'm sorry. They would never say that. They go, apologize. Anyone can blow air across their, their vocal cords. Anyone can do that. Excuse me. How many nose itching? Damn. Anyone can do that. And narcissists do that all the time, and they just like blow it off like whatever, dude. If they do that, get rid of that person. I'm telling you, get rid of them. I'm going to light my candle here. Let's get the candle going. This is an awesome candle, by the way. It's this one. It's Tom Ford. And if you look at the bottom, it says bougie. It says candle. Sorry, I'm trying to get that right. Bougie. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but it smells great. It's like a men's cologne. Holy shit. Uh, a friend of mine bought that for me. Thank you very much, by the way. And uh, let's do this real quick. Sorry. Let's clear the air. Let's slow. Let me let me try to slow myself down. I'm going fast. Okay. Get a little bit of a white sage. This is mountain white sage. Put that out. All right. So. So what a narcissist will do is they will just, I apologize, and, and you can tell in their tone they don't mean it. Um, usually, even if, okay, if, if, if they're trying to hoover you, if they're trying to beg you to come back, they will say, I'm sorry, what I did was wrong, you're right, when I did this, that was mean, and I did do this, and you're right, and I did, they will even admit it, so they'll, but usually if, it, if, the, if you're like in their life, and they're not hoovering you, they'll just be, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. And they'll just do it again. But when they're hoovering you, now watch this, because this is tricky. They will apologize, and they will admit what they did was wrong. They'll even admit what they did, right? Maybe not all, but most. If they're hoovering you, especially if you walked away and they're trying to get you back, yeah. Okay? Now watch this. Instead of the third step of it'll never happen again, uh, instead of saying like, look, I will, this will never happen again. I will never do this again. I was wrong. I should ne shouldn't have done it in the first place. Instead of doing that step, they replace it with, but it's not my fault. You got to understand it was the way I was raised. It's my dad's fault. It was my diet. My thyroid shut down, right? And so... They will give, they will, it's like in the beginning, like number one, they're apologizing. Holy shit, they never do that. Number two, they're admitting specifically what they did, A, B, C, D, and it was wrong, and I admit it's wrong, right? I shouldn't have done it. Keyword, shouldn't have. That doesn't mean they're not going to do it again. The third step is I'll never do it again, but they, they won't say that. They're That's where they give you excuses. Well, what I did was wrong. I admit I did do it, but. It's not my fault. This is where they come in. The problem was I was really tired that day or I had a really bad day at work or my diet was off. It shut my thyroid down. And, and that's why I was so mean to you for a month or three weeks or whatever. Um, or it was my dad's fault. You know, to be honest with you, the real reason is, and oh, here's another thing. They'll even try to spin it and, bl and what do they call it? Blame shift. And this whole thing is blame shifting. It's my dad's fault. It's my mom's fault. It's my cat's fault. It's the invisible biting hamster's fault. <laughs> um, they literally will make stuff up. I kid you not. All of this is blame shifting or they'll try to blame you. Like, well, you got to admit though, you know, you were looking at me kind of funny. That really pissed me off. That's why I broke your jaw. You know, they will see the stupidest fucking things. But it's called blame shifting. So the way it should go is I apologize, number one. Number two, I admit what I did, and I admit that it's wrong. That's admit. Number three is it'll never happen again. They don't do this. This is where they install blame shifting. This is where they have every excuse in the fucking book, including literally 
making bullshit lies up. Well, it's not my fault because at that moment uh, I was on the phone with a customer, but you couldn't see the phone even though you're standing two feet or three feet in front of me because because it's an invisible Superman phone. And the other thing was you didn't see the invisible giant sand hamster biting my ass. You think I'm joking? They literally make shit up, okay? So on step number three is – that's where they, instead of saying it'll never happen again, that's where they say, well, they're, okay, now this is important. They say the reason why I'm doing this is, in other words, they're blame shifting. They're blaming their diet, their mom, their dad, the way they were raised, the country they're from. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The, the invisible sand hamster, the invisible phone. They blame. Now, here's what you're not hearing, though. They, they they are apologizing. Yeah, they are. And they know they're, they're, they're almost back in the head. They're kind of laughing at you. <laughs> they're grinning. So they apologize. They admit what they did wrong. And they admit each piece. And then they blame shift. Well, you got to understand that the reason why I, I, I did that, they might even say this. Listen closely. The reason why I do that is because that's the way I was raised. That's the way it's my dad's fault. That's, you know, what he taught me or whatever. What I don't think you're still getting, even though I'm basically shoving it in your face. They're not saying, number three, it'll never happen again. It's going to, I'm going to write this down, big bold letters. It's going to stop. They're not saying that. What they're saying is, I apologize. I admit what I did. And I also admit what I did was wrong. It's not my fault. And without without verbalizing it, and this is the part where they're laughing, I'm going to continue to fucking do it. They walk away and you're like, wow, you admitted it? You admitted the specifics and then you admitted what you did was wrong? And then you, here's your reason why you did it? And you're feeling good thinking, wow, man, we had a breakthrough today. No, you didn't. They never said, I'm going to stop. They literally told you, the, and, and they'll even say this to you. The reason why I do this is because of blame shift, the way I was raised. It's my dad's fault. It's my mom's fault. Um, the invisible sand hamster biting my ass. The invisible phone that I supposedly had in my, fan, my, my hand that you couldn't see. They're not telling you that even though they know that what they did was wrong, even though they verbally apologized, which was not a real apology, they're not telling you they're going to stop. And I don't mean like, oh, they forgot to tell you or they didn't realize they're supposed to say that. No, even if they did say it, they're, they're not going to stop. That's why they don't say it'll never happen again. I'm, and I, This is going to stop and it's going to stop right now and it stops with me. The buck stops here. That's what a real person does. That's what a normal person does. What I'm trying to emphasize is they're laughing inside because they're thinking, because they're in the, to themselves, they're saying, I never told them I was going to stop. In fact, what I actually did say was the reason why I treat you like shit is because that's the way I was raised. And I'm going to keep doing it because that's who I am. They're literally telling you, this is who I am. This is the way I treat people. And this is the way it is. Okay. So when you get to that step, if they start making up excuses, if they start blame shifting, saying, oh, well, it's my diet's fault, it's my dad's fault, it's because the way I was raised, it's because of my country, I don't give a fuck what it is, right? They're literally telling you, I'm going to continue doing this to you. That's the whole point of this video. So I, I let me think, telling, uh, doing different with what I was doing, nothing here, it's not their fault. Um, so yeah, so here's how it should go. Number one, I apologize. And they have to say it sincerely. They have to admit to what they did was wrong and admit that they know it was wrong. That's really important that they, they admit you're right. I should never. That was wrong. I, I know that as an adult. Number three is it'll never happen again. If they start making excuses on step number three, they're telling you they're going to continue. I'll never do it again. They've got to make it right. They've got to make it up to you. And then number five is literally they don't do it again. They physically don't do that again. They learned their lesson and they've, gro they've grown from it. They've grown up. A narcissist isn't going to do that. They're going to continue to do it. So this is Mike Colling at MikeColling.com. And you know what? You can have them watch this video. 
they're going to still do it. They're still going to fuck with you. And if they don't do that specific thing, they'll do something uh, slightly different. Well, we didn't say this. And they play that. They like they, they love to play that fucking game. Well, I specifically didn't do this. I did this one inch over here, which is basically the same fucking thing. Well, I slashed your front tires. This time I slashed your rear tires. I never said I wasn't going to slash your rear tires. I only said I wasn't going to slash your front tires. Eee, they play the stupid game. And this is like a game that they play. It's almost like there's some kind of rule that's in their program to where, well, if I don't tell them this specifically, then all bets are off on that. They like to play the assumption game. They like to play it when you assume, well, but Michael, they apologized. They admitted everything they did was wrong and they admitted that they shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have keyword, key phrase, shouldn't have. And, and then they, they, they said, and they gave me all these excuses and reasons why they did it. No, no excuses, no reasons why. It'll never happen again. That's step three, period, in a sense. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. God bless you guys. Call narcissists on their shit. If you don't call them on their shit, then just walk away. I mean, you should really should, walk, number one, walk away. But at least in your own mind and heart, say, no, they're playing me. They did this. It was wrong. And they keep doing it, so I'm out. God bless you guys. I love you. Click subscribe. And if you haven't already, click the like button. Apparently with YouTube, the like button is the most important button of all, even over subscribing or making a comment uh, to getting me more traffic to my website. I would really, really appreciate if you would subscribe because I'm almost at a thousand, by the way. I would really appreciate if you click that like button. God bless you guys. Bye.